Let's solve another thermodynamic problem where we are asked to calculate uh, some properties uh, at the end of a process and also the entropy production during the process. Air contained in a rigid insulated tank fitted with a paddle wheel, initially at 4 bar of 40 degrees C and a volume of 0.2 cubic meters, is stirred until its temperature is 353 degrees C. Assuming the ideal gas model with K equals 1.4 for the air, determine A, the final pressure in bar, B, the work in kilojoules, and C, the amount of entropy produced in kilojoules per Kelvin. Ignore kinetic and potential energy. Well, let's lay out our storyboard. We'll start with the schematic. We've got an insulated rigid tank we're going to draw our boundary line around the air in the tank and notice that our boundary excludes the tank and excludes the paddle wheel. And because the tank is insulated, uh, there's no heat transfer into or out of the system. But energy is transferred into the air uh, by work uh, via the paddle wheel. Now we're given uh, some properties uh, for both states. We know the uh, initial uh, pressure is four bar. The initial temperature is 40 degrees C, which is 313 degrees Kelvin. And the volume is 0.2 cubic meters, which does not change. Uh, so state two has the same volume as state one, of course. And the final temperature is 353 degrees C, which is 626 Kelvin. Now we're gonna model this as a closed system. Uh, we're gonna treat uh, kinetic and potential energy changes as being insignificant. It's a constant volume process, of course, also constant uh, specific volume. We're gonna treat the air as an ideal gas. And here, uh, this is gonna affect our problem solution uh, considerably. We're going to assume that it's a constant specific heat supply. And we have license to do this because we were given K equals 1.4. Well, K is the ratio of uh, specific heats. It's C sub P over C sub V. So if K is constant, then C sub P and C sub V are constants as well. And also because it's insulated, uh, we're gonna treat this as an adiabatic system with Q is equal to zero. Now we wanna find the final pressure of the work done during the process and the entropy produced during the process. So let's begin by finding the final pressure, which we can do with the ideal gas law. We can write the gas law as PV equals RT, but the specific volume is a constant. Uh, the volume is a constant and it's a closed system, so the mass is constant. So we can say that the uh, constant uh, specific volume is RT over P. Well, that means that RT1 over P1 is RT2 over P2. And the R's cancel, of course. And I can rearrange what's left and solve for P2. P2 is just P1 times T2 over T1. So P2 is 4 bar times uh, 626 Kelvin divided by 313 Kelvin, which is a value of 2. And so P2 is 8 bar. Now we wanna find the mass, and we can also do that with a different form of the ideal gas law. Remember that PV is MRT, so we can rewrite that as M, the mass, is PV over RT. And we'll do this at state one uh, conditions where we have all of our the necessary properties are known. So P1 is four bar. The volume is 0.2 cubic meters. The gas constant for air is the universal gas constant 8.314 divided by the molecular weight of 28.97, that quotient having units of kilojoules per kilogram K. The initial temperature is 313 K, and I have an energy conversion term I need to add here. One bar cubic meters is equivalent to 100 kilojoules. <clears throat> and I conclude that the mass is 0.891 kilograms. Let's find the work done during this process with an energy balance. Uh, a closed system energy balance where we're ignoring kinetic and potential energy effects. It's just that delta U is Q minus W. But this is an adiabatic process, so the Q is zero, and we end up with just that the work 
<clears throat> is the change in internal energy, which we're going to write as the mass times the change in specific internal energy. But U1 minus U2 uh, can be calculated, uh, if we assume constant specific heats, as C sub V times T1 minus T2. So we can uh, substitute this term into our original energy balance, and we get the work is the mass times C sub V times T1 minus T2. Well, we need C sub V. And we know that uh, C sub V for an ideal gas is just R over K minus one. Well, again, we have our gas constant R, which is the universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight. K is 1.4. And we calculate that C sub V is 0.7175 kilojoules per kilogram K. Now we can solve for work. It's the mass, 0.891 kilograms, times C sub V, we just calculated that value, times T1 minus T2, and we get the work is minus 200.1 kilojoules, the negative sign indicating that the work had to be supplied to this uh, system in order for this process to uh, take place. And because uh, we put energy into the system via the paddle wheel, we expected this negative value. Now let's find the entropy production with uh, an entropy balance. Remember that the entropy in a system uh, can increase during a process uh, one of two ways. One is it can be transferred into the system via heat transfer. And secondly, it can be created or produced within the system by irreversibilities. So I'm gonna take our uh, entropy balance and rearrange it and solve for the entropy production. And that's just S2 minus S1 minus the integral of dq over t. But this is an adiabatic process, q is zero. So this whole term uh, uh, becomes zero. And we have the entropy production is just the mass times the change in specific entropy. So we can calculate this term s2 minus s1. We've done that previously where this term here we got from tables as S naught of T2 minus S naught of T1. But because we're assuming constant specific heats, we don't need to go to the table. We don't need S naught values here. This term can, can be computed as C sub V times the natural log of T2 over T1. So this is a new equation uh, that we're seeing in this uh, series of problem solutions. And then we add to that <clears throat> the gas constant times the natural log of V2 over V1. But this is a constant volume process. So V2 is equal to V1. This term becomes zero. <clears throat> so substituting now, we have that the entropy production is simply the mass times C sub V times the natural log of T2 over T1. Um, we have already got the mass as 0.891 kilograms. We have a value for C sub V, and we have the natural log of 626 Kelvin over 313 Kelvin. We get the entropy production during this process is 0.443 kilojoules per kilogram. Let's draw a TV diagram for this process. The initial state is at four bar and 40 degrees C. And the final state is directly above that on a TV diagram because the final specific volume is equal to the initial specific volume and that state exists at 353 degrees C, and our final pressure we calculated to be eight bar. Now on a TS diagram, again, our initial state is at 40 degrees C, and our final state is at 353 degrees C. The initial state is at four bar. The uh, final state is, uh, has a pressure P2 of eight bar, but the uh, state two has a, a greater specific entropy than state one. So um, uh, state two here is to the right of state one on a TS diagram. 